This is how to read notes with accidentals in alto clef. So when you see an accidental like a flat or a sharp, what you need to do first is figure out what letter name the note is. So what letter name is this first note? You can start at C and count up, C, D, E, F, with an F, or you can remember your mnemonic devices, giant, bugs, defend, fences. Now you need to take into consideration the accidental. So there's a sharp. So this note is just F sharp. That's all it is. When you write the note name, the sharp goes after the letter, like you say it, F sharp. But when you're writing it as a note on a staff, you put the accidental first so that you don't accidentally play F. So it's sharp F when you're writing it on a staff. Same thing for this note. Go ahead and figure out what that note that is. C sharp. This note. G sharp. This note. That's another F sharp. So we know how to play two different F sharps at this point. Okay, there's one here, there's one here. They're both called F sharp, we just play them differently on our instrument. How about this one? B e sharp. Again, two different C sharps. Now we're going to move on to flats. Flats are the, the act the same as sharps. You still put them before the note when it's here. You put them after the note when it's here. So this note is B flat. This note is also B flat. This note is E flat, and we'll learn how to play that later. This note here is also E flat. Hopefully that helps. When you are doing your canvas assignments, a sharp is a hashtag, shift three, and a flat is just a lowercase b. That, that's how canvas knows what you're typing.